Hey, my name is Jonathan from AJ and Smart, and it's 2019, so the design sprint is probably dead, right? Well, today we're going to find out. So the design sprint has been around for about three years, and the trend has been building and building and building. Today in 2019, it's as strong as ever, and more and more companies are figuring out what the design sprint is, but the question is, is it just a trend? I have an idea. How about I take my camera here, and I'm going to go around the AJ and Smart office and see who will talk to me about if the design sprint is a trend. How about, will I, will I try that? All right, I'll be back in literally like five minutes, okay? Let's go ask everyone. Miho, is the design sprint a trend? No, it's been enough forever. Yeah! Let's go, Cal. All right, let's see if we can bug these guys. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> is, the des <laughs> is, the des is the design sprint just a fancy trend? No, it's not. Why? Uh, because it actually works and I think that's also the reason why more and more companies are committed to doing design sprints or having people learn design sprints to apply them internally because it leads to better results in a shorter amount of time and um, that's why I think it's not a trend. It's, uh, it's not trendy, it is, there is a trend but it's, uh, it's for a good reason. Would you also say that things that are trends are generally like almost like get rich quick schemes and the design sprint's actually difficult and not, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not something that's just, oh, it's really quick, it's actually also difficult. Um, yeah, I mean, the, tr the thing with trends is, I think uh, often it's about buzzwords. Uh, and uh, I think the nice thing about design sprints is that it takes some something as fuzzy and uh, uh, undefined as design thinking and packages it into this really uh, applicable method and people immediately see the outcome and how good it is after one week and that's I think the reason why more and more people are interested in them. Thank you Tim. <laughs> bye guys, bye! All right, let's <laughs> Britt, I'm sorry but I forgot to hit record when I was doing your one. Maybe I didn't record the first ones. Maybe I didn't hit record. I hope so. <laughs> can I ask you again? It doesn't matter. You can think of it. Come sit down next to me. Hey, Brittany. Uh, are design sprints are design sprints just a trend? Just a trend? Who's saying that? Um, okay, so design sprints. I think that. Um, they are definitely trendy, um, however, I think that um, the idea of using processes and actually kind of breaking things down to work more efficiently together as a team um, is not a trend and that's something that will kind of definitely continue to evolve. So even if the design sprint in 10 years, people aren't still doing something called a design sprint, I think they'll be doing other things that are quite similar. What do you think it will be called in 10 years? <laughs> do I have to say it? So to say something Design stupid. Sprint Extreme. Design Sprint Extreme, you heard it here first. <laughs> We're copywriting it. Thanks, Brit. Thanks. Uh, is there anyone new? Uh, okay. Penny, is the Design Sprint a trend? No, of course not. Um, but if it is, it's hacked. It's a hot trend. It's a hot trend. <laughs> We're loving it. But I think it's all evolutionary. Like one thing leads to another in a really sort of progressive and logical way. So yeah, no, it's not a trend. It sounds really sounds well. like a trend to me. Why? I know, no, no, that's not <laughs> Thanks, Penny. No worries. Hey Jonas. Is Yo. what are you doing there? That looks fun. Do you think the design sprint is just a trend? If it's a trend, it shouldn't be a trend. Ooh! Or, if it's not a trend, it's not a trend. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a trend, no, it shouldn't be. No, but seriously, like, I don't think that a design sprint is a trend because it's just a very, very great process to improve products and build them faster. And if it's a trend, it should get, like, it should be replaced by a better process, right. which is not the design sprint 3.0 in three days. Okay, so Design Sprint 7.0 coming up, everybody. Uh, who, who else is here? Who else? <laughs> <Let's> see. 
Is the design sprint a trend? No. Why not? <laughs> Uh, I think it started off as a trend, but I think yeah. now it's kind of holding its weight within the industry as being something that's quite credible. And I think because people or clients or industries are able to kind of see results really, really quickly, this kind of dilutes the fact that a trend is happening. This means that actually something is achievable really quickly. That's a good one. That's such great answers. Let's get Bruna. <laughs> you might want to do that as like a super fast cut. The design sprint. Hello. Is it a trend? Yeah, for sure. It's that. Super dead. It's dead. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Super nice. I like it. I like it. That's it. Let's leave it though. It's good. It's funny. Wait a second. Callum, is the design sprint a trend? What's the design sprint? <clears throat> so there you have it. A couple of answers from around the AJ and Smart office. Um, and obviously just a little bit of tongue in cheek. But if you're here for a serious answer, I'm gonna give you one. I think that the design sprint, I think that like a lot of things like that, I'm always very suspicious about when like a new system comes out, when like a new design buzzword comes out, I'm always like, ah, I don't really know if this is gonna be the thing that we're gonna go all in on. And one of the reasons we went all in on design sprints uh, in 2016 was because we just saw that it actually worked. And it wasn't just something that was working well within design agencies, it was also working well within the corporate environment or even within the startup environment. And that for me already gave me the feeling like, okay, this is a really great evolution or really great application of what we've been trying with design thinking and sort of this user-centered design approach. It's almost like a very pragmatic application of it. So my prediction uh, with the design sprint is that it's gonna be around for a very long time, much like design thinking. And I do believe they're very sticky. I think a lot of other systems will come and go, but the design sprint will stick around much like design thinking has for the last two billion years. Um, because it's something that is just sticky, something that seems to work for enough people that it reaches this sort of critical mass. And um, yeah, I think we'll be standing here in 2021, uh, hopefully with a different shirt and asking the same question, are design sprints a trend? And I think the answer is no. So if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about design sprint, listen to the Product Breakfast Club podcast every Monday. It's all about design sprints, product strategy, all of that kind of stuff. And have a great week. Goodbye. You can turn it off now. That's it. All right, let's go back to the filming stage. All right. It was also working well within the corporate environment. Design sprint version 12. Rob is 15. <laughs> Anyone who's seen you with the beard in the videos is gonna be like, who the f is that?